the Gulf of Maine. Cold waters and harsh winters demand a fortitude not found in the tropics. For the tough creatures that have learned to survive these bitter conditions, such as wolffish, lobster, and cod, the Gulf provides an abundance of food unlike anywhere else on the eastern seaboard. Fishermen have plied the Gulf's rich waters for generations, and for generations, they've shared these waters with some of the Atlantic Ocean's most formidable sharks. Tenacious, superlative, and adapted to cold water, these are the sharks of the Gulf of Maine. Small sharks punctuate the coastal shallows in varying abundance. The pike dogfish is certainly the most common shark in the region and is named for its slightly poisonous spines, which are used for defense. The dusky smoothhound is also common and is perhaps the only shark known to change its color between shades of muddy brown and sandy pearl. The Atlantic sharp-nosed shark is less common, but unique among requiem sharks in that it can give birth to pups each year. Schools of the bonnet head shark are rare in the Gulf of Maine, but can exhibit a social hierarchy when formed. Large females tend to dominate. Small sharks such as these are not alone in the shallows. Much larger predators also live near shore. The sandbar shark travels north to the Gulf of Maine every summer and uses the mid-Atlantic coastline as a valuable nursery for pups. The sand tiger shark is infamous for its cannibalistic reproductive cycle in which the largest embryos devour their siblings in the womb. More voracious still is the tiger shark, which seems to devour all as it feeds on a wider variety of prey than any other species of shark. Many other large sharks patrol the coastlines of the Gulf of Maine and spend just as much time offshore. The smooth hammerhead is more tolerant of cold water than any other species of hammerhead shark and tends to avoid the tropics. The dusky shark is a large but vulnerable species that has been severely impacted by bycatch from the area's swordfish and tuna fisheries. The blue shark has the greatest geographic range of any known elasmobranch and is thought to travel around the entire North Atlantic Ocean. Impressive mackerel sharks thrive in the Gulf's cold waters, growing large from the rich abundance of prey. The shortfin mako has even been known to hunt swordfish, but at great risk. Only a few individuals have survived impalement by the spear. Unique among hunters is the thresher shark, which first gathers its prey into tight formations, then lashes it with its whip-like tail. The poor beagle is an exquisitely adapted gulf predator, able to raise its body temperature to as much as 10 degrees Celsius higher than its chilly surroundings. The much larger white shark has a similar ability, as well as a distinct history of attacking boats with or without provocation. Largest of all is the basking shark, which attains its enormous size by filtering energy-rich plankton from the gulf's emerald waters. Beneath the churning ballads of epipelagic life dwell predators of the deep, well at home in the darkness. The kitefin shark uses its proportionally huge teeth and formidable jaws to shred lobsters, deepwater fishes, and even other sharks. The Portuguese dogfish is both a hunter and a scavenger, patrolling the seabed for squids, octopi, and snails, as well as dead whales. The black dogfish strongly prefers to hunt in the deep, though it may come to the surface in the Arctic during the coldest of winters. Unique among deepwater sharks is the beautifully patterned chain cat shark, which lays eggs upon the rocky reliefs of the Gulf seabed. Cat sharks and dogfish do not live in the deep waters alone. Much larger sharks also dwell in the darkness. The bramble shark is of an order unto its own, as no other gulf species possesses its thorny bucklers, which are rumored to be luminescent. The enormous Greenland shark is an ultimate carnivore, having been known to consume seals, an entire reindeer, and even parts of horses. From the twilight depths to the sunlit shallows, from the open seas to the rocky shoals, Sharks reign supreme as the top predators of the Gulf of Maine. Immense fishing pressures push them ever closer to extinction, and some species like the shortfin mako and basking shark are already endangered. But so long that we pay attention, we can keep them safe. 
So long as we strive for stewardship, we can save all species of shark from the jaws of oblivion. Bycatch, pollution, and climate change may threaten their world, but knowledge, respect, and conservation will protect the sharks of the Gulf of Maine for now, for future generations, and for the better of our world. For more information, including a checklist of sharks of the Gulf of Maine, please visit the official Dr. Jaws website at www.drjaws.net slash ecoregions. Important conservation information on each shark species can also be found on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species at www.iucnredlist.org. Fishes of the Gulf of Maine by Bigelow and Schroeder is a primary scientific reference for this video. Conservation artist Anya Voloshin created the original images for this video. If you enjoy this presentation of Sharks of the Gulf of Maine, please subscribe and leave a like.